Hey, what's up, guys? In this video, we're going to talk about how we can take the user inputs in Java using the buffer reader class. The buffer reader class is used to take input from a source, and unlike the scanner class, it uses one 8k buffer to buffer the input stream, and which makes it lot more faster than the scanner class. The buffer reader class is located in the I/O package of the Java library. So we have to import the I/O package in order to use the buffer reader in our program. So now we're going to see how we can use the buffer reader class in our program. So first of all, we have to import Java dot I/O package, and this I/O package will enable us to use buffer reader class in our program. So now I'm going to create one buffer reader object br and then i'm going to write new buffer reader and this will take one input stream reader reference and inside that we have to pass in the reference of the standard input so first of all we have created one buffer reader object br and then we have the buffer reader constructor which takes one new input stream reader as reference and inside the parentheses we have the system dot in which refer to the standard input device now we're going to use the print method and print please enter your name and then we're going to create one string variable str which will store the user input and then we're going to call the br dot read line method this will take the user input and then again we are going to use the print align method and we're going to print your name is and we are going to print the str variable onto the console so i'm going to save the program so i'm going to compile and run the program it says please enter your name so i'm going to write rapid tutor and then it replies back your name is rapid tutor so first of all we have imported the io package in our program this will enable us to use the buffer reader class in our program and then we have created one buffer reader object br and in the next line we have printed please enter your name and then we have used the br object and called read line method this method will take the user input and return one string and the string will be stored in the string variable str and in the next line we have used the print method and printed the user's name back on the console so this is the way we can use the buffer reader class to take the user inputs in java so hope you understand the concept we'll see in the next one thank you